Hello everyone, this will be the first of three or four tutorials on 2D lists, um, file writing, uh, file reading and also file sorting as well. Um, so sorting through a 2D list. So what we have here in our program then, we've made a program which allows you to add a blood donor um, and essentially find a blood donor to start with or just print out all the blood donors. So let's go ahead and just see what it says at the moment. When we say A, he asks for the donor's first name, so James Brown, um, enter their patient number, and enter their blood group, AB positive, um, and their date of birth, 11th um, of March, 1995. Okay, and then it just loops again. If we look at our code, what's actually happening then, we're taking a few inputs, um, but we're not actually doing anything with them. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a list um, and then we're going to um, append that to um, a file and it essentially make a 2D list which we can iterate through. So let's write the list. We'll call this um, blood donors or donor list maybe. Donor list equals and we'll make an empty list first. And then what we're going to do is we're going to append to that list all our different details, so first name, and then um, our last name, patient number, etc. So we're just copying and pasting now, so that will save us a bit of time. Last name, patient num, um, blood group, and the date of birth. Date of birth taken as a string, and we can convert that later as well. Okay, so that puts it all into a list. Um, however, if we want this to be persistent, i.e. if we want um, our files to be able to be saved and we can add to it at any point, we need to essentially make um, a text file. So what we've got here is um, we need to return our list and that will be returned so that when um, add donors is called, the list that we just made is returned into um, this variable which essentially becomes that list so this list called donor details and then we call another function or another procedure called file write and we pass in our list you can pass in a um, variable you could pass in a list you can actually pass in any object um, okay so that's then going to go into our file writer if we um, have a look, we don't actually have any file um, at the moment. So let's go and create that file. I'll close this one because that was a template I'd made earlier. Um, and this is where our code is. It will be available on the GitHub as well. And we'll make a new text document. We'll call it um, blood donors. And it'll be blooddonors.txt as default. And inside here, we're just going to make an empty list. Um, and when this is read by Python, it will evaluate as a list and we can add to it to make a 2D list. Um, we'll do that here. So let's read in the file. So let's go um, donor file equals open and the, the file was called blood donors. I think it was yeah, blood donors.txt and we'll put that in speech marks. And then we're going to open this file in read mode. Okay, um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate the whole file. So we'll do um, donor file dot read, and we're going to save that into a temporary list. Um, let's just call it temp list. Okay, so that essentially will take in our current list, which is empty. It was just two square brackets, um, and then um, we've evaluated. Let's close our file as well. File dot close. It's good practice. Um, and then we can start, you can see I've put in these sub goals here. This should really go here, our comments. And this is a great way to build a program to just actually put in comments what you want to do and it'll make your coding, um, it'll remind you what you need to do um, based on the specification. So pen the new customer's details. Remember we took in donor details as an argument. That can be appended to our temp list. So we'll do temp list.append and we'll append in our donor details as such. Um, and then that our temp list needs to be written to our file. So we need to reopen our file. 
should copy and paste. It's going to be easier, isn't it? So we'll reopen our file, this time in write mode. So we're going to overwrite what's in there. And we're going to um, say donorfile.write rather than read. And we're going to write a string because we, you can only write strings in a text file. We're going to make a string of temp list. And when we've done that, we can um, close our file. Let's have a look at this. Okay, let's add a donor, James. Oh, that's strange. Ah, what do we want to do? Add a donor, A. And um, what's the donor's first name? James, what's the surname? Brown, patient number 9999, um, AB positive. What's the date? 11th of March, 1995. Okay, patient number is not defined. We've got a bit of an error there, haven't we? Because we've got a typo. Patient number. And let's see if our text file's been wiped. Nope, our text file's fine. So we've corrected the spelling of patient number. I should have copied and pasted, shouldn't I? Hey, James Brown, uh, 9999. Test, uh, AB positive is his blood group. Um, 11th of March, 1995. Okay. Now, what should have happened is that donor should have been added to our list, and it has. So it's now um, become a 2 d list. That might become more apparent when you start adding in more people. So let's add in Arthur. Now, Arthur, one, two, three, four, uh, blood group, uh, B positive. Um, please enter the date of birth, uh, 21-7-1999. Um, okay, and let's see if Arthur is now in here. He is, and if we keep going, um, you'll see that essentially, we'll just keep adding to our 2D list. And that is how you would do file writing into a 2D list in Python. Uh, let's add Elizabeth uh, Hidson, uh, patient number uh, 1235, O positive, um, date of birth. Happy birthday, Liz. I hope you're doing well. Uh, 16th of December. And we'll see that um, Elizabeth should be added in here. Um, and we've got our 2D list. And that is the end of the first tutorial on how we um, write to um, a 2D list and um, write that to a file which um, we create ourselves. The next tutorial will talk to us about how we read from that list in a meaningful way.